In this video, we'll start going over some calculations for waves. So the basic equation is velocity equals wavelength, which we're doing as lambda, times frequency, which I use an F for, or I'll even write frequency. And I'll just write the units above, so meters per second for velocity, wavelength is in meters, and frequencies in hertz. And if you just remember, hertz are equal to 1 over seconds. So you can see that multiplying meters times hertz will give you meters per seconds. And that's how I remember this equation. Um, and it's the only one you'll really have to remember, and the rest you can uh, get just using algebra. And remember that the velocity of the wave depends on the medium. So if you have a large wavelength, you must have a small frequency. If you have a small frequency, oh wait, then <laughs> you have a large wavelength. What did I mean? If you have a small wavelength, large frequency, large wavelength, small frequency. So let's use some easy numbers in here. So if you know that your velocity is 12 meters per second, um, there's a few different ways that we could get that with, with whole number, wavelengths, and frequencies. So that could mean that our wavelength is, I don't know, one meter, and our frequency is 12 hertz. And again, just on an intuitive level, that means that in one second, you'll get 12 cycles that go by. That's what this 12 hertz means. And each of those cycles is one meter long, then you'll be going 12 meters every second, right? If you have 12 cycles per second, and each cycle goes one meter, you'll get 12 meters per second. I could also do 12 meters per second. It could be two meters. But then my frequency would have to be six hertz. So that means every second, six complete cycles go by. Each cycle is uh, two meters in length. So that'll give you 12 meters every second. Right, and 12 is a nice number for this. I can just keep going. And you can see that they're inversely proportional. So if um, wavelength doubles, frequency has to be cut in half. Right, and we can just keep adding these might as well just finish. And you see that the common thing is that all of these, when we multiply them together, equal 12. And again, that's just reinforcing the fact that if you have a large wavelength, like this one, you have to have a small frequency to balance it out. Or if you have a really small wavelength, you need to have a high frequency. I'm going to try to draw, I mean, I don't even know I'm going to try to draw this, but let's see what happens. So if I draw what happens in one second, okay, so one cycle, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, almost. Eleven, twelve. Okay, so if I counted right, that's twelve cycles. So remember, that's what twelve hertz means. Twelve cycles in one second. So I'll say that this took place in one second. And if I use my wavelength and say, oh, well, the distance between each one of these is one meter, then you'll see that we ended up going 12 meters in one second. And then down here, this one, one hertz, so in one second, you have one cycle, but the wavelength is 12 meters. So you've gone 12 meters in one second, and we'll do some more calculations later.